Hello, my name's Ruth and I live in uh, Southport in Merseyside. Um, I'm 60 years old. I'm a retired nurse and uh, I like countryside. I like um, reading and uh, I like um, taking part in church services and I just, I just like uh, living my life the best way that I can. I think that's probably the best thing to say. I moved to Southport in October 2018. And at that point, I was in a very, very dark place in my life. Um, I have been suffering from chronic pain since 1986 and over time it had got worse and worse and uh, I didn't go out. I was in a wheelchair when I did have to go out and my life was very miserable. I say now that it was actually an existence, not a life. And so I was really in a dark place when I came to live back in Southport, which is my hometown, and I desperately wanted to move back home. Life was very, very difficult. Um, I needed my husband to help me with every aspect of my daily living, from getting me out of bed in the morning, washing me, helping me with personal care, uh, cooking, dressing me, doing my hair. Everything was just a struggle. Um, the pain was unrelenting and stopped me from being able to have any sort of a life at all, really. I. I just existed from day to day. When I moved back to Southport, I came to a crossroads in my life, really. I was coming up to my 60th birthday, and I thought, am I going to have just an existence for the rest of my life, however long that would be, or are things going to change for me? And I slowly came to the realisation that the only person who could change things actually was me myself. But I couldn't do it on my own. And um, so fortunately my GP referred me to the pain clinic to help me deal uh, with the pain that I was suffering. I had attended a pain clinic before in Wales, uh, which tended to be rather experimental. And so it was really a case of having things done to me. I had um, acupuncture, I had trigger point injections, I had um, all sorts of uh, experimental things done um, uh, but in the end none of them worked for the pain and they allowed me um, to perhaps not take responsibility myself for for change in my life I think I hoped that somebody would change something for me, rather than me being able to make any changes myself. Um, when I came here, um, the pain clinic here, the pain service, had a different approach to uh, pain, and I feel that they have helped me to Take, take responsibility and to um, 
do work for myself, uh, both from the physiotherapy point of view and from the psychology point of view, to uh, see a different way of looking at my pain and to plan and to make choices whereby I would uh, have some sort of a life in the future. And one year on, I feel that I have done that with their help. The first steps that I made when deciding to take control of my life again was firstly to start doing the exercises that um, my physiotherapist in the pain service gave me. And that was not easy uh, because I was more or less completely immobile. Uh, but I persisted and I still persist to this day to, to do exercises and um, slowly my strength has come back a little bit and uh, I, I do uh, manage to walk about a little bit now so I try not to use my wheelchair unless I really have to for a long distance um, and Fortunately, I, I went to see the psychologist who helped me to make plans, uh, little steps of what I would like to do next. Uh, one of the earliest things was to actually just paint my nails, to brush my hair, to, to wear different clothing. Uh, because prior to moving to Southport, I spent nearly every day in night clothes. I didn't do anything most of the time. I didn't get dressed unless I had to go to a medical appointment. So all of these things helped me to take the little steps uh, necessary. I also, in, from my GP, um, decided to take control of my weight and I've lost um, 116 and a half pounds since the 1st of December 2018. Uh, I'm still a work in progress with weight loss, but I have gone down from a size 30, 32 in clothing to a size 12 to 14, which has made uh, my own self-confidence much, much better and has helped me greatly with uh, mobilising. To come from perhaps a rather old-fashioned um, approach where the patient is the patient that has things done to them to being uh, a patient that takes part uh, in their own care uh, was actually a little frightening at first, a little strange, but in the end was quite exhilarating and allowed me, um, as a one-time medical professional myself, to feel that I had some control back in my life that I wasn't just another number that has things done to them, another box to be ticked, that um, I could take some control over my life again. And so while it was strange at first, within a very short time, I started to feel much more positive and able to make the choices for myself that hopefully would improve my life, and they have. I think what made a great difference was that the professionals at the pain service treated me as an individual. They treated me as a person who would be able to make their own choices, as a person who had some worth and a person that inside the, the box la labelled chronic pain 
was a person that had hopes and fears and desires and needs. And the pain clinic people helped me to get in touch with those feelings in myself. And so I was able to make the choices that were necessary for me to grow and to get to go forward. It made a great difference for the professionals of the pain service to acknowledge the talents that I had already in my life, the fact that I had at the time 59 years of knowing myself and my strong points and my weak points and encouraging me to look not at what I couldn't do, but at what I could do and what I would hopefully be able to do in the future. And that was actually very important to me because after many years of chronic pain, you begin to feel like a number, like um, a nuisance that you, you you become less of a person because people don't recognise you as a person, they just recognise the chair. And I was treated with the utmost respect and given credit for what I had done and what I knew about myself. And upon that, I have built my future over the last year. And that, to me, is so important and of such a benefit. Um, I can't stress that enough. To be asked questions about what I wanted and where I wanted to go and what I would like for my future was, at first, rather strange because nobody had asked me that in the past. Um, but it quickly became very important to me that I was making these choices for myself, that uh, I felt supported and um, a useful person, that uh, I was valued for being myself and able to uh, look forward to a future where um, I, wa I wasn't just defined by my pain. And that was so in important to me, to be treated as a human being and not as just a, a number or a person in a wheelchair. It was slow work getting back into doing the exercises again. It was difficult because exercise does increase your pain uh, on, a, on a, a daily basis. It does uh, in, in the fact that uh, you have sort of muscle pain as well from not using your muscles for a long time. But... I think the most important thing really is that you get into a good frame of mind that you become perhaps more determined, perhaps you want that you want that change to take part in your life, that you want to be different, that you don't want to be controlled in every aspect of your life by pain, that you want to be able to just live a normal life like everybody else. And that was the thing that spurred me on, really, the fact that I'm 60 now, that I didn't want to go into old age feeling that my pain was all that I had, that that was the only thing that controlled me. I wanted to get a bit of life back for myself. The exercises have become easier to do. Um, I still live with the same amount 
of pain that I, I had 18 months ago. And I think I have to stress that. There isn't a magic bullet that's going to take your pain away. There isn't anything that can help, really, when, when it's chronic and it's been chronic for such a long time. The only thing that can help you is, with support, is to change your attitude to actually do what the professionals with the pain service ask you to do. And even when it's difficult, even when you don't feel like doing it and you're having a bad day, to just think, well, it will be worth it. It will be worth it, and it is. It's helped a lot being a bit stronger. Um, and my husband would say it's helped because... Uh, He'd had to actually turn me over in bed at night. Um, I, I was so immobile, I couldn't even turn myself over. And so I think it's helping him sleep better by uh, be, being able to turn over in bed. And um, it, it helps me feel better in myself. I don't feel so much like a just a sort of lump of flesh in a chair. I feel that, you know, I can I can move about better. And when you've not been able to move about at all, then having uh, strength in your muscles makes you feel so much better. It makes you feel younger too. Starting going out again was a big step and uh, I was very anxious. I still am very anxious. Uh, I suffer from something called complex PTSD, which has also um, impacted on my ability to go out. But again, I, I have received excellent support for that and particularly from the pain service I feel I've been encouraged to do what I can and then a little bit more. So I have gone from perhaps just slowly walking to the end of my drive uh, which I was doing back in February to going onto the high street in my wheelchair and walking a few steps with my walker to a seat where I would sit and watch the world go by, um, to being taken round the park by my husband in my wheelchair, to going out and walking a little in the park and uh, I aim now to go out at least three times a week, which is three times more than I was doing 18 months ago. I think how I think about pain has changed. Pain, 18 months ago, it made me very fearful and it made me feel persecuted in a way that I, I didn't think that I would ever be able to cope with it. Um, now I see pain as something that's a part of my life, but as something that I have learned to accept and to almost look for things that pain can can give you almost as a gift, that pain can make you slow down. But when you slow down, that you notice things that you don't notice when you're running about in your life. And so you take life at a slower pace, but that too has its blessings, that you learn to have empathy 
for other beings and other people who too are suffering. And that it has, in the end, brought a sense of um, peace, almost, to my life. And that might, might sound really strange, where pain's concerned, but it has brought an acceptance of my life as being just as how it is, and that there are benefits to um, living a slower pace of life as well. Uh, I have found over the last year that um, techniques of mindfulness have been very helpful to me and also the power of stillness and also the power of prayer. Those three things which all link in with each other in a way I have found to be very, very helpful, that they have brought me to a state of uh, inner stillness and um, been able to reflect on my life and to see the benefits of my life being as it is. Um, yeah, and also to focus outside of myself on other people who are suffering, on other people who have many needs uh, that I hope one day I can help as well. My advice to anybody is if you're suffering from chronic pain, I truly, truly know firsthand how really, really hard it is. The first thing I would say to you is try to, to love yourself. To love yourself and realize that you aren't the pain, that you are just the same person underneath that you're worthy of love. And so try to accept yourself as being a person, a worthwhile person who happens to suffer pain rather than being the pain itself. Secondly, I would say try to realize that your life can change. It may seem impossible. It may seem to be very, very difficult. So just accept that your life can change. And thirdly, ask uh, the health service if you can be referred to a pain service because that has been a life changer for me. And uh, that's what I would advise people to do. My plans for the future are to live a good life to the best of my ability, to uh, just live a normal life, to be able to do anything that other people can. I will always have limitations caused by my pain and my age, but I have come now to an acceptance of that and to realise that I am not defined by that pain. And therefore, I would like to be able to visit a theatre, to go and spend time looking at the sea and the wildlife, to just be able to go 
to shops and, you know, make purchases and plan and just live a happy life. That's what I hope for. Yeah. I, I, I'm a bit shy, really, in saying what's good about me. But what's good about me is that I feel in the last 18 months, I've grown as a person. I've developed um, a great deal of acceptance in my life for the things that life throws at you. And I have within me uh, a peace and a, re a newfound sense of spirituality, I suppose, and uh, I hope in the future to perhaps be able to help other people deal with their pain, that I can in some way give something back towards the service and the people that have helped me. <laughs>